What's going on y'all? I'm Czar and in this video we're taking a look at a new feature in Studio One Six called Smart Templates and after seeing what this does I have to ask is it really that smart? Uh, so I'll admit this feature does not do what I thought it was going to do after reading the description of what it does on the Studio One website. Uh, more on that later but I'll admit I'm not a template person because I use a lot of different plugins when I'm mixing. So for me to use a template, to me, that means I'm using the same plugin chain, same set of plugins for each mix. And I just switch things up too much for that. So when I saw smart templates, I thought that this was going to allow me to open a template with different plugins and add stems to those uh to that session and open it to where once i open the session all i need to do is maybe uh, reorder some tracks maybe do some renaming and i can dive uh right into mixing if you look on the studio one website it says uh, mixing audio open a smart template with your favorite channel strips loaded and a drop zone to quickly load stems all right so let's take a look at these uh smart templates so to get to it, you just hit new, just like you would uh, to pull up a new session. And now in Studio 1.6, we have templates and we have user. Whereas in Studio 1.5, we hit templates, interfaces, and user. Interfaces has now, uh, you can locate that here under templates. So what these smart templates are, are, they're not only templates to get you started, but some of these have different options. Uh, you can kind of think of it as a hierarchy in a way uh, for example you know the play now when you go to this play now smart template and you have an option you can choose but to set up between piano synth guitar and drums uh, same thing with a record now you've got a single track guitar and vocal full band uh, produce beats is going to set up one uh, with some instruments for you we've got create content uh, here's a list of all the PreSonus interfaces that's going to set up the I.O. for those interfaces. Now, just the record and mix, this is just a blank Studio One session. I haven't opened up the master and release, but I'm 99% uh, sure that's just a blank uh, mastering Studio One session. So here's where my problem uh, comes with this. So most of my work in Studio One is mixing, or recording and mixing, but... We have a template here that says import files and start mixing. Okay, so here's our drop zone that they refer to where you can load your stems in. So let's grab some stems as if I was dropping this in here to mix it. Okay, got our stems loaded. Uh, we can change some settings here just like we've uh, always been able to. Let's get that back to here. All right, so we hit OK and it's going to load these files. But this is just a blank Studio One session with these files loaded now. If I go to the mixer, I don't have any channel strips loaded or anything. This is no different for me. This is just a kind of a reverse step here. I've loaded the files into Studio One and then open the session versus me opening the session and then uh, dragging the files in. So I thought this is going to allow me to set my channel strips before. Let's just close this. I thought this was going to let me set my channel strips back when we're here. Now, this would really work for me because I use so many different plugins. I can say, hey, for this song, I want a API channel strip on every track, or I want an SSL channel strip on every track, or I want a fat channel on every track, and really let me customize it that way. That's what I took this as, and it's just not what we have here. On the user side, so this was interesting to me too. So I've created a user template uh, SSL native template and what this is is uh, 16 channels of the SSL native channel strip and we also have the uh, bus compressor 2 on here so basically a SSL console template okay cool but if you notice we, we go back to the uh, template user I don't have a section to drop my files in. So smart templates is only for these templates. I can't create my own template and I, I can't merge the two, the smart templates and uh, user, uh, which would be 
very handy is which really what I thought we were getting here. So hopefully this is something that improves maybe in an in an update here because if I had the ability to select what plugins, you know, I wanted to put on tracks and then have the session open with those tracks uh, and those stems already in there. Yes, I could get to moving quicker, but the way this is set up right now, at least for mixing, we're just doing a step that we would have to do anyway before we get to the session. And it really doesn't matter either way at this point. I will say there is something psychological about loading these stems in prior to opening the session because that I do have a feeling I can just get to mixing quicker. But with the way this is set up right now, it's really not improving uh, the workflow. Maybe I'm getting this wrong. Definitely comment and let me know uh, what you think. Um, and again, I'm specifically talking about the import files part for mixing if you're going to be mixing in Studio One. Some of these de I definitely find useful. Um, the create content. I haven't opened up this one, but uh, just taking a quick look at the like the play now. No, not the play now. Record now. Like the guitar and vocal. Let's open that up real quick. You know, something like this. You can you can see we have uh, signal chains here. We have plugins chains here. Pro EQ, Deesser, Fat Channel on okay, yeah vocal female vocal male guitar track so this is a legit uh template here uh, but for the mixing yeah we've just got uh we've just got a blank session so definitely comment uh like i said maybe i just don't get it so maybe y'all can help me out on this one uh but uh, if you enjoyed this video i appreciate a thumbs up and if you want to continue to see content from me then you know what to do any questions comments let me know and i'll catch y'all next time